Now let me show you something. You have heard about these, right? See, anterior, posterior, long, short, profit, loss, right, wrong, positive, negative, more and less. What are these? What are these? What are these? Antonyms. You have studied about this. You know about this, right? You know, if I talk in terms of hormones, there are some hormones which are opposite in function. These are known as the antagonistic hormones, hormones having opposite actions on the body. I've already talked about these hormones, but now you will realize how they are, how some hormones are, you know, functions opposite to each other. Okay? Let's study. Let's take examples and study. Quick. Aldosterone and ANF. Atrial natriuretic factor. So, aldosterone is a vessel, helps in vasoconstriction. That means the diameter of the blood vessels, you know, it's becoming smaller. Constriction. Fine. Whereas, vasodilation, ANF brings about vasodilation. Right? Just try to relate with whatever you have studied so far, you know, in terms of the chapter where we have studied about excretory system, blood, circulatory system, right? Relate to them. Aldosterone, vasoconstriction. On the other hand, ANF, they act as vasodilators, brings about vasodilation, increases the diameter of the blood vessels, fine? Next, very common example, glucagon and insulin. Glucagon helps in increasing blood glucose. Whereas, insulin helps in decreasing blood glucose. Glucagon will increase and insulin will decrease. Correct? Fine. I'm not going into the detail because we have studied about this already. Okay? Fine. Great. Some more. Parathyroid and calcitonin. Well, let's see. Parathyroid hormone and Calcitonin. Remember, parathyroid hormone, it increases what? Calcium. Calcitonin is reducing the calcium levels, okay? Calcitonin hormone of the thyroid gland lowers blood calcium levels, whereas parathyroid hormone increases blood calcium levels. Fine? Great. Other examples, we have studied about all of these. Growth hormone releasing hormone and somatostatin. Wow. Growth hormone releasing hormone help in the growth. Promotes the release of the growth promoting factors of the growth happening factors, right? Growth hormones. Somatostatin, opposite. Growth hormone, it inhibits the production of the growth hormones. So growth hormone releasing hormone helps in the, you know, production of the growth hormones. And somatostatin stops or reduces the growth hormone production. Next. Activin and inhibin. Studied again. We have studied about this. Activin. You know, it helps in the production of FSH, follicle stimulating hormone. Whereas inhibin, it inhibits the production of follicle, follicle stimulating hormone. Yes? Clear? This is something we have already studied. I hope now you have related so far.